Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. We got a big time matchup today. 1-2 South Dakota State traveling to take on the 2-0 San Diego Toreros. I did this video a little differently than the last few uh, subscriber games that we did. Uh, the editing process was a lot harder because <laughs> I had to sync up my commentary with the actual video so I had to keep cutting out little bits and pieces like the drop frames and everything. So I went ahead and just recorded this uh, while I was out of the room. And I'm seeing it for the first time right now anyway. And I'm going to do the commentary. It's going to be a good game. San Diego set to kick it off. They are 1 and 2 in subscriber versus subscriber games. South Dakota State is 1 and 1 for this series. And here is Jamar Hicks on the opening return up to the 23 yard line. And we'll see the Jackrabbits offense first. Taking a look at their roster, the Jackrabbits have Lamar Jackson coming back, sophomore quarterback. He is the quarterback of the year last season. And he's in the shotgun formation right now to start things off. Hot routing a receiver, daily running to his left, making his return after injury. And they'll go play action, pass over the middle, and that is caught. And that is Brahms North, the big tight end. And that is going to be his... Fourth catch of the season, his first catch of the year that's not a touchdown. So second down and one. Here's a look at the Jackrabbits offense. Starting quarterback, Lamar Jackson, and he is the leader of this number one offense in the country. 579 yards per game. Tremaine Watson is the number two quarterback. Tate Redding, who we have not seen yet, and Jalen Evans. Those are the four quarterbacks on the roster. Here's another nice pass, right side, Brahms North. Running around people, carrying a defender up to the 46-yard line. His second catch in a row. And Jackrabbits off to a hot start. The rest of the offense is this. Daly Redding, Mason Smith, and Chad Collins, five-star freshman at halfback. Mason Smith is injured. He won't be back for another six weeks, I believe. At wide receiver, Reinhard Wendowski, Jack Marks, and Jacob Cullman at tight end. Brahms North and Dayton down. And we'll get to the offensive line here in a second. Play action again from Jackson. It's picked off. What was that throw? That is going to be Jackson's fifth interception. And that was the freshman with his uh, first screen interception. The four-star freshman free safety to Marcus Green. And he threw it right to him. I think that was intended for Reinhard or Wendowski. And honestly, that just wasn't even close at all. But the rest of the Jackrabbits offense, the O-line is Chad Filler at left tackle. Jake Seahorn at right. He is injured as well. That's four-star freshman. Dan DeBeers and Gray North. And we'll get into the Toreros defense the next time they're on the field. Here is Daryl Ballard. He's going to be sacked on the first play. And not a good start for the Toreros. The offense for San Diego is this. Daryl Ballard, sophomore quarterback. Coming into the game with 3,366 passing yards, 28 touchdowns, but 33 interceptions. He also has three career rushing touchdowns, two of them this year. Second and 12, though. Pass left side, and that is incomplete intended for Doug Lay. And they get him for roughing the passer on the play. That's going to give him a first down. Xavier Wilson is the backup quarterback, three-star freshman. Robbie Ballard, of course, sophomore halfback. Four-star freshman fullback, Bo Davis. Doug Lay and Demetrius George at receiver with three-star freshman Riley Porter. And at left tackle is Brick Wall. And Ballard going to throw again. This is caught by the tight end. He's going to have the first down up to the 31-yard line. San Diego moving the sticks a couple times here. Ballard are going to come out in the shotgun again. Robbie to his left. Torero's looking to get on the board first. And Daryl Ballard's going to go quarterback draw. And he's in the open field. Daryl Ballard all the way to the four-yard line. What a run. Unbelievable. Longest run that we've ever seen from him. My goodness. Sets his team up in great field position. And this is just a fantastic drive so far. Taking a look at the Jackrabbits defense, Frank Theory at defensive tackle, Jamar Hicks, he was bumped up to subscriber status this season, 
Three-star freshman Goku Lee and Chris Major at strong safety. Ballard under center. Hard count. Robbie behind him, and they're going to hand it off to the big guy, and he only gets a yard on the play. Coming into the game, Robbie Ballard with 2,028 rushing yards, 17 touchdowns for his career. 193 on the season with one score. In the goal line formation, Robbie Ballard gets stuffed, and he finds the end zone. Touchdown, Toreros. Robbie showing great strength right there. Falling forward, getting the touchdown, and getting his team on the board first. Toreros with a 6-0 lead over the struggling South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Their defense has been the worst in the country this year. They have the number one offense and the dead last defense in the country. Definitely not what you want to happen. I would rather be in the middle of the pack for both, honestly. San Diego coming on for the kickoff. And we'll finally get a chance to take a look at the Toreros defense. They got off the field so quickly last drive. And get to see if Lamar Jackson can respond after throwing that pick on the first drive of the game. And here is the kickoff, and that is deep. Jamar Hicks about three yards in the end zone. He's going to return it up the left sideline to about the 20-yard line. And here come the Jackrabbits. The defense for San Diego is this. Defensive tackle, DJ Payne. Defensive end, Boone Johnson. Both middle linebackers, Luke Moss and Rob Roy. At corner, we have Isaac Price. At safety, four-star free safety, Demarcus Green. And Dylan Tong is at strong safety. And Lamar Jackson is going to be sacked. And that is big DJ Payne. That's going to be his second sack of the season and the ninth of his career. So good play right there for the Torero defense. They've been really solid so far this season in the two games that we've seen them in. The complete opposite of South Dakota State. Jackson to throw. Over the middle. Wide open is Brahms North. And Lamar Jackson just missed him completely on that pass attempt. My goodness. Some of these quarterbacks this season, their accuracy has just definitely take, uh, took a dip. And it's, just, it's not good. They're down 13. Jackson to throw again, right side, deep shot, and Brahms North has it again to the 40-yard line. Oh my goodness. What a throw as Lamar Jackson just lets it rip. Dylan Tong brings him down at the 40-yard line. That'll be Tong's 12th tackle of the season. And South Dakota State trying to answer back after that Torero touchdown. Jackson in the shotgun again. Five wide receivers set. Brahms North to the right side right there on your screen. Jackson will throw it again. Right side, and that's caught. And I believe that is Dayton down, and it is. And that's going to be Dayton's third catch of the season. He's now over... No, he's got 49 yards on three catches. They'll bring up second down and four. Four, to, or four wide receivers set. Daily Redding is in there. They're going to go play action. Jackson takes off. Nice block. Jackson runs a man over and gets it inside the red zone. Travis Moody, a star cornerback who had a pick six last week, just got injured. And he's a non-subscriber cornerback, and he's very good. Very athletic player. Great young talent. And he's looking really promising for the Toreros. So I hope he's okay and can return to the ball game. Four wide receivers set again. Three to the right. Jackson will throw it. Wide open. Daly Redding inside the 15-yard line down to the 11. Nine-yard reception for Daly Redding. That'll be his 13th catch of his career first this season. That'll bring up second down and one. We have yet to see freshman phenom Jacob Coleman who's coming into the game with 16 catches, which leads the team. 280 yards and five touchdowns, which is tied for the lead with Erwin Dowski. Second down and one. Daly Redding gets the carry. He is rocked in the backfield. Huge hit 
by the non-subscriber outside the linebacker. That'll bring up third down and one. Huge play here early on in the ball game. Seven plays, 71 yard drive, 210 off the clock. And it's gonna be off of nothing if they don't get in the end zone here. Chad Collins in at halfback. They give it off to the freshman and he gets the first down up to the two yard line. Collins did a fantastic job filling in for Daly Redding and Mason Smith due to their injuries. Collins, 290 yards this season, one touchdown, three catches, 30 yards. And unfortunately, Travis Moody will be out for three weeks for the Toreros. That's a big loss in the secondary, and Lamar Jackson is sacked again. Non-subscriber defensive lineman getting in there, putting some pressure on the former quarterback of the year. That'll bring up second and goal from the three-yard line. Less than 50 seconds left here in the first quarter. And I believe Jalen Evans is in at quarterback right now. Second and goal. Goal line set. And Jalen Evans pitches it out. And Daly Redding has the touchdown. Perfect pitch from the freshman. I do believe that was Jalen Evans. And Daly Redding finds the end zone for the second time this season. That'll be his 25th touchdown rush of his career. And the Jackrabbits back in business. They tie things up at seven apiece here with an extra point if they can make it. And the kick is up and good. So the Jackrabbits tie it up after a 10 play, 81 yard drive. Took almost three minutes off the clock. So half the first quarter gone because of South Dakota State. Very good game so far. And in the Discord Pick'em, you guys are almost even. 13 votes for San Diego and 10 votes for South Dakota State. So pretty close vote. Definitely the clo closest that we've had this week by far. I know most of you guys just vote for our subscriber teams against the non-subscriber teams. Because, you know, you just believe in my stick skills that much. Or maybe something else. I don't know. <laughs> First down and 10 for the Toreros. Daryl Ballard under center. Robbie behind him. Single back set. Man in motion to the right side. That's Demetrius George, the dangerous playmaker. Primetime George. And they're going to go counter play. Robbie Ballard gets a couple yards up. Oh, that got. Second down and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. Time slipping away here in the first quarter. High formation set. Tight end to the left. They're going to hand to Ballard right side, and he is stuffed. That is no gain. Moses on the tackle for no gain. And that is going to be the final play of the first quarter. We've got a good one here. In San Diego, California, the 2-0 Toreros are tied with a 1-2 South Dakota State Drag Rabbits at 7 apiece. Third down and 7. Big play right here. Single back set. Two tight ends to the right. And they're going to go play action. Right side. A man has it. And that's Riley Porter, the freshman receiver. Picks up the first down. That's his seventh catch of the season, which actually <laughs> leads the team. So a couple really great freshman receivers in this ballgame today. Jacob Coleman, Riley Porter. That'll get Porter up over 200 yards receiving, I believe, or close to it. I think he's about seven yards shy. But first down and 10. Ballard hands it off to Robbie, and he's got the first down. Nice run, great blocking downfield by Doug Lay, who's one of the better blocking receivers in the country. Another first down, first down at 10 from the 46 yard line. Offensive line doing a decent job so far here today for the Toreros. Single back set, two tight ends to the right side yet again. We just saw this a play ago. And they're gonna go play action. And it's the same exact play, different result as Porter drops that one. A little unfortunate play right there for the freshman. That would have got him over 200 yards for the season. He also has one touchdown. 
Oh, Davis is in there at fullback. They're going to hand it off to the freshman, and he goes nowhere. He does have 65 yards this season with three touchdowns, but nothing was working on that play. That's going to bring up third down and 10. This is a huge play. They got a long ways to go. Ballard in the shotgun. And Chris Major shifts over to the left side. So we got a one-on-one -on -one situation top right. That's Demetrius George. And they go his way. And it's overthrown. Oh, my goodness. Goku Lee on the coverage. But that pass was off the mark from Daryl Ballard. Big time miss right there. So a huge stop for the Jackrabbit defense. Let's see what their offense can do. But first, Jamar Hicks is going to return this punt. And he's going to call a fair catch. Hicks with seven Returns for touchdowns last season. Four kick returns and three on punt returns. Guy was an absolute monster. And he was also great on defense with four picks, a pick six, and a scoop and score for 67 yards last season. Two forced fumbles. I mean, the guy did everything. 19 pass deflections. He's a shut down corner. And the crowd is going crazy right now. Jacob Coleman on the left side can't hear his quarterback. And Jackson goes that way, and it's caught. Jack Marks has it up past the 40. What a stiff arm on Dylan Tong. Put him on his back. My goodness, what a play. Great run after the catch. Dylan Tong didn't stand a chance on that one. Demarcus Green missed on the coverage. That's the four-star freshman free safety for the Toreros. And a great reception for Jack Marks, who has been a little lackluster. Uh, this season, well, in his career, 31 catches, 737 yards, seven touchdowns, nothing too crazy. Definitely not anything close to Reinhardt Wendowski, who has 21 touchdowns and 1,600 yards in his career. Uh, here's Jackson on the option, pitches it out. Jack Collins has the first down, 14 yard pickup. And the Jackrabbits moving them chains again. This offense is so deadly, you can't really question this offense at all. I mean, the quarterback play has been iffy this season. Um, but the defense has definitely been the biggest concern for South Dakota State. Shotgun set. Jackson high snap. And he's got all day to throw. Goes left side. Just a little dump off pass. And they're going to lose a couple of yards here to Daly Redding, who gets his 14th career reception. And loses three yards on that one. Lamar Jackson is also closing in on 4,000 career passing yards. Coming into the game, he needs 213 today. And he's getting close. He's got 117 already here today. Here's second and 13. Shotgun set. And Jackson will go play action. Throws it up right side. Incomplete intended for Brahms North again. He had a man wide open down the right side. And I'm not sure if that was Komen or if it was Erwin Dowski, but he was way past the corner. It's going to bring up third and very long. Third and 13. Crowd getting behind their defense right now. Making some noise. Single back set. Three receivers to the right side. Hot route attempt here. Marks can't hear him. Jackson will throw. And he throws it deep to the end zone. And it's incomplete. Deflected away by DeMarcus Green. Nice deflection by the freshman. And that was holding anyway. They will decline that. Big stop for San Diego. Jim Langer on the sideline upset at the referee. Not like it mattered, you're gonna punt the football away anyway. So a big stop for San Diego. We're gonna see Daryl Ballard come back out on the field, try to get his team the lead. Fourth down and 13, here is the punt. And that is a good one. That's gonna go out of bounds. No it isn't, oh my goodness. So close to going out of bounds at the one yard line. Crowd not happy with that. Well, that was a really good attempt by the punter. I'm not sure why they're booing, but, you know, whatever. First down at 10. Both the Ballard brothers in the backfield. And Daryl going to go play action. Throws it out to his brother, Robbie. He's going to get close to the marker. Picks up eight yards. They're going to get the first down anyway due to the face mask penalty on Jamar Hicks. Got to get him up to the 33-yard line. Langer upset again, but I'm just saying, you can't tackle somebody by the face, brah.
First and ten from the 33 yard line. And they're going to go play action again. It's been working for him. Nice completion out to Doug Lay for the first down. Move the chains. Ballard with 45 passing yards. Tight end set, one to the left, one to the right. Ballard will throw it again. Pressured, hit as he throws. Man open and overthrows Doug Lay on the sideline. There's the quarterback comparison. Lamar Jackson, 107 yards and a pick here today. Right. 401 yards on the season so far for Daryl. He's going to go play action again. Left side, and it's Doug Lay once again. This man is wide open every single play. Great route runner. Definitely a crisp, crisp route runner. And he shows it right there. He needs 95 yards today to reach 1,000 yards receiving for his career. Came into the game with 47 catches, 905 yards, 10 touchdowns for his career. And here's Robbie Ballard picking up three yards. Doug Lay with five catches, 75 yards coming into this game this season. He's the only receiver that does not have a touchdown reception yet. Second down and 18. Bo Davison at fullback. Let's see if they don't give it off to the freshman. And that play goes pretty much nowhere as Robbie picks up a yard or two. That'll bring up third down and seven from the 38-yard line of South Dakota State. So you don't really need to get the first down right here. If you get four or five yards, you might go for it as the time is ticking down. You're definitely out of field goal range. Here's big eye formation set. Robbie Ballard gets the first down and more inside the 20. Robbie inside the 10, down to the seven-yard line. Big run from the big man. My goodness, what a play. The sophomore halfback. Taking a look at the top 10 backfield prospects in the FCS Dynasty leading up to the first ever EFL draft. Robbie Ballard is number six. Daily Redding on the other side of the team is at number four for the Jackrabbits. Here's a pass to the end zone, almost picked off. And I think that might have been Goku Lee on the coverage. So we have two top 10 halfbacks here today. And it's really nice to see Daly Redding back on the field. He missed a couple games from injury. And it's just really great. He's such a great talent. Second to go from the eight yard line. Daryl hands it off and Robbie goes nowhere. Nice stop by the defense. That'll bring up third and goal here from the seven yard line. And top 10 quarterback prospects. Lamar Jackson is number four currently. Daryl Ballard is not in the top 10 right now. He needs to fix that touchdown to interception ratio, and he does it right there with a touchdown strike. And the Toreros take the lead with 132 remaining in the first half. Perfect throw, great route by the non-subscriber tight end. It's a great play all the way around. And the Toreros have the lead back. And there's plenty of time left on the clock here for the Jackrabbits to get something going. They have a dangerous offense. They can strike at any moment. And the might have gave them a little bit too much time to work with here. 10 play, 80 yard drive, 204 off the clock. San Diego always coming through with some long sustaining drives. It's really fun to watch their offense work. Just slow and painful if you're on that defense. <laughs> Lamar Hicks and Daly Redding set to return the kickoff. Like I said before, Jamar Hicks, 45 kick returns in his career coming into this game. 1,436 yards, four scores. They're going to kick it to him, and he is dangerous, but he's dropped at the 18-yard line by Riley Porter, who has been outstanding on kickoff coverage. He's got a fumble recovery on there. 
and a handful or two of tackles. Team's pretty even on offense. 148 yards for the Jackrabbits, 146 for the Toreros. And they're going to come out here in the shotgun set. Jackson to throw. Over the middle. Dangerous pass. Almost picked off. I don't know why he threw that. That was a terrible decision. He did not stand a chance of completing that, bat, that pass one bit. Shout out to my Patreon supporters. Tom Schaefer, Zoomer Speed, you the real MVPs. Second down and 10. Jermaine Watson in at quarterback now, and he's going to take off. Quarterback scramble, picks up nine yards. The young freshman, not really known for running the football this season, just 46 yards on the ground with one touchdown, but he is more known for having a rocket of an arm. Every deep pass, it just seems like it's in the air for about 20 minutes. He's got 762 passing yards this season, eight touchdowns, four picks. He also has one touchdown run. Single back set, Jackson under center, three receivers to the right side. And Daly Redding back there, will they give it off to him? Yes, they will, halfback draw, Daly Redding picks up the first down. And they're gonna call a timeout here with 50 seconds left on the clock. And try to get downfield, get some points on the board before the half. Four wide receivers, two left, two right. Chad Collins in at halfback. Young freshman can catch the ball, three for 30 this season. And Jackson gonna throw left side, wide open as Jack Marks again gets it up to midfield, or actually in San Diego territory. Jack Marks, my goodness, what a play. What a day he's having. Two big time catches for him. That gets him eight catches on the season, over 200 yards receiving. He might eclipse his mark from last year of 737. Daily Redding is on fire. And Jackson will throw it. He's pressured and evades and is sacked. And that is DJ Payne, his second sack here today, third of the season and his 10th of his career. Congratulations to DJ for reaching double digits. The pass left side is incomplete from Jackson to North. And ever since those first two completions to him, they have been uh, just not really on the same page at all. That's three straight incompletions that were intended for Brahms North, the tight end. Third and 11, Daily Redding is on fire again. Jackson getting a nice block from Daily Redding. Deep shot and it's caught! For the score, Jack Marks for the touchdown. What a dime. Oh my goodness. That is the Lamar Jackson that we came to love last season, folks. What a throw. Jack Marks with his second touchdown this year. Ninth of his career. And he's on fire here today. Over 100 yards receiving now with that catch. Or close to it. It's got to be really close. 82 yard drive, took seven plays, just a minute and seven seconds off the clock. That's all they need is a minute and they can score on any defense. It's just, the, the problem is their defense. Can the defense stop anyone? Game all tied up, 14 apiece here in the second quarter. And I've got a feeling that San Diego is just gonna come out and run one play, give it off to Robbie. And let this clock run out and go into the half of the tie ball game against one of the top offenses of all time. As Doug Lay kneels it down in the end zone. They do have two timeouts left, but I don't really see them taking any chances here and costing themselves later on in the game. High formation set. They will go on the ground. Robbie Ballard, he gets nothing on that play. And that will most likely be the final play here of the first half. But what a game it's been so far. Just a back and forth affair. And both of these teams looking for their second win versus another subscriber opponent. South Dakota State 1-1 one one in subscriber games. San Diego 1-2. and two. And that is going to end the first half. 14 all as San Diego looks to remain perfect on the season 
South Dakota State trying to save their season right now. And San Diego will return the second half kickoff. Back deep to return is Doug Lay and Demetrius George. Neither of them have ever returned a kickoff for a touchdown. Doug Lay has one punt return for a touchdown. And there is the kick. It might go out of bounds. And it's very close. Out of bounds in the end zone. So that is a touchback. And Robbie and Daryl Ballard will be taking the field now. 145 yards of offense for San Diego. South Dakota State got most of their yards there towards the end of the first half. I formation set to start things off. Give it off to Robbie. Get this thing started. Or maybe give it off to the freshman fullback, who has been pretty good this season. And they'll go play action instead. Wide open is the freshman fullback, Bo Davis. He's got the first down, about a 12-yard reception. The first reception of his young career. 6'2", 255-pound, 76 overall freshman, four-star talent, and a great play right there. If you want to get a player in this series, join our Discord today to get started. Shotgun set here for Daryl Ballard, and he will throw it, and goes left side, double coverage, intercepted! And returned up to the 41-yard line. I think that's Chris Major. No, that is Holland, a non-subscriber cornerback. That was not a good throw from Daryl Ballard, his first pick of the game. And his fourth of the season, 34th of his career. Definitely something he has to work on. My goodness. So South Dakota State. Gets an early takeaway here in the third quarter. And now they have the momentum and a chance to take the lead here in San Diego, California. Shotgun set like always. They only have one single back set here for the Jackrabbits. And here's a quick pass. Daily Redding gets maybe four yards on the left side. And that is his third catch today, 15th of his career. It's over 250 yards receiving as well. Haven't really seen Reinhard Ermandowski at all today. The big play receiver. And they're going to go play action again. Jackson left side. Incomplete. Almost picked off. What was that? That was intended for Jacob Kelman. But we have yet to see the number one FCS prospect, Reinhard Ermandowski, do anything here today. Jackson, 9 of 16, over 200 yards passing. But it's third and seven. Jackson pressured, he's hit as he throws, and it's caught! Jacob Coleman inside the 15-yard line, down to the 10. And a great reception here for the freshman, his 17th of his career. And a great touchdown saving tackle for Demarcus Green, his 10th tackle of his career so far. And they're going to give him first and goal from the 10-yard line. 91% in the red zone this season, all touchdowns, 11 of 12 are touchdowns. Jackson to throw. Jackson right side wide open. And there he is, the Reinhard Ramondowski for the score. And that is his 22nd touchdown of his career, sixth of this season. And he's just wide open coming across the middle of the field. And Isaac Price didn't stand a chance. He does not have the speed to keep up with the speedy Reinhard Ramondowski. He is going to be one of the biggest names that you guys will see in the Elite Football League. The EFL, our custom professional football league where all these players will be drafted. And he's going to go in the first round for sure. Top 10 most likely. If you want to be a first round draft pick or the number one pick overall in the EFL draft, get your career started here in college in this series first. Play your college career Graduate, declare as a junior. I don't care what you do. Just get in this series and get yourself a player so you can have a chance to be a legend and be elite in the Elite Football League. Coming after this season, by the way. 
after year two of this series is over year one of EFL will start there will be nothing but generic players in year one it's gonna be a test season for the most part we do have two star players one for each conference Ken tops our Mississippi State Bulldog legend is playing and leading the Mississippi mayhem and then we've also got Colin Kaepernick is the star for the um, the Texas Outlaws he is gonna be just a menace in that league he's a monster but year one will start after this season is over for the FCS so once year three for FCS starts you'll see the EFL and then by the time year three of this series is over all of our subscriber players will be draft eligible and we will import those draft classes so it's gonna be fun here's a nice completion as I keep rambling and there's a first down for the Toreros Jack Rabbit still on top, 21-14. Torero is looking to answer right now. High formation set. Haven't really seen Robbie Bowden get a carry in a while. Here he goes. Toss plate. No, he's going to throw it back. Daryl has the catch and a five-yard reception for Daryl Ballard. Using a little trickeration here today. Second out and five upcoming. As I sip on my Dr. Pepper. Not an official sponsor. Second down and five. Three running backs back there. Well, two fullbacks. And Robbie Bell. And they're going to hand it off to the backup fullback who's going to have the first side and more up past midfield. Fullbacks matter. All the way into South Dakota State territory. And now then the shotgun set. Two tight end set. One left, one right. And they're going to throw it. Daryl looking to throw right side. Wide open is the tight end, and he overthrows him. My goodness. Just off target here today. Just a little bit too much. He missed Demetrius George earlier on a big play on a third down. And now he's missed the tight end fine on that one. And he could have ran for an extra 20 yards after the catch. Play action. Ballard pressured. And it's somehow completed to Demetrius George, the playmaker. Prime time, Demetrius George. What a catch. I don't know how he fit that in there. That's George's fourth catch of the season. What a play. My goodness. 20-yard catch. George up to 70 yards this season currently with one touchdown. Single back set. Daryl now on fire after that play. And Frank Theory stops that play before it even gets started. That's his third tackle today. And he's also got, that's his 10th tackle of the season. Two for a loss so far. Well, three with that one now. And he's also got a fumble recovery. Seven play, 51-yard drive. Two minutes, 10 seconds off the clock so far. And they are stuck at second and 11. I formation set. And they go play action, and Ballard is dropped. He is sacked by Holland, who's having a great game with a sack and a pick. The crowd, the Boo Birds, are here in full force. Third down and 16 upcoming after that huge play by the nickel cornerback. Non-subscriber player coming through on defense for the Jackrabbits. Who would have thunk it? Frank Theory's on fire. He's blowing right by the center. Deep shot to the end zone. Deflected away. And I think that was Holland again. No, it was Erwin Dowski out there playing some corner. And Chris Major also in coverage. Goku Lee was there as well. That's going to bring up 4th and 16 from the 34-yard line. I don't know if they're in field goal range here. And we're going to see the punting unit. So a big, big stop for the Jackrabbits as the Toreros stall out deep in their territory. And there is the punt. That's going to go right to the end zone. That was a terrible kick. Could have at least tried for a coffin corner kick, but I guess not. Head coach of the Toreros, Jack Brown, looking for his first ever win versus a subscriber opponent here today. Here's a nice broken tackle for Daly Redding. He picks up six yards. But Jack Brown took over the Toreros in the offseason, 
as Dan Fouts um, left. Jack Brown taking over, trying to get this team at the top of the Pac-10 in year one. Second and four, play action. No, they do hand it off, and Daisy Redding picks up the first down. Luke Moss on the tackle. There's some 10 from the 31-yard line. The Jackrabbits can get a two-score lead here right now. And that would that might end it. The Toreros have been struggling here in the second half. Here's another deep shot. Jacob Coleman there, and he's got it. Oh, he fumbled it. No, he dropped it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I thought he had it and fumbled it. Great play by Dylan Tong out in coverage to knock that ball loose. Unfortunate play for the four-star freshman receiver, Jacob Coleman. That'll bring up second down and 10. We haven't seen Jack Marks since the end of the first half. Or did he have, no, he had a touchdown this quarter, didn't he? I forget these things. Nice catch over here by Chad Collins. That's his fourth of his of the season. Right, it was an eight yard reception, so he's got four catches, 38 yards this year. Jackrabbits five of six on third downs today. Browns North is on fire, so is Daisy Redding. They hand it off to Redding, he falls forward, and he did not get it, so big, big stop for San Diego. That'll bring up fourth and inches. Will they go for it? No, it looks like they're going to send on the punt team. George on for the punt. He had a 47-yarder earlier today. And there is the kick. Another good one. He skyrocketed that one all the way through the back of the end zone. What a kick from George. Guerreros need to answer now. We're about to enter the fourth quarter. Three halfbacks in the backfield. Daryl Ballard is on fire. Under center. And he's going with a hard count here for who knows what reason. He's going to throw the football. Deep shot, right side. It's caught by the tight end. All the way down the 48-yard line of San Diego. What a play. Great throw. And Goku Lee out there getting beat in coverage. They bring a first down and 10. Getting hype right now. That band. It's fantastic. That'll end the third quarter, folks. Get your fours up in the sky. Jackrabbits looking to pull out of here with an upset victory. And it's 21-14 as we start the fourth quarter. The Toreros have been known to have some great comeback wins in the fourth quarter. We've seen it a handful of times the past two seasons. Now let's see if we can't see it again here today. That play went nowhere. Lost a yard for Robbie Ballard. Frank Theory is on fire. Look out for that. He's going to look to bully the right guard. Ballard's going to hand it off that way. And there's a huge hit from Frank Theory. They ran right at him. And he made them pay big time. Poor Robbie Ballard gets put on his back. That'll bring up third down and 11. They are three of five today on third down conversion attempts. And Ballard's gonna throw up pressure. Goes right side, it's picked off. Goku Lee has his first career interception. Great play for the three-star freshman corner against primetime <laughs> Demetrius George. The 62 overall corner outdoes the 76 overall sophomore receiver. Now the Jackrabbits take over with a chance to take a two-score lead over the home Toreros. Jackson to throw it. Pressure, he's hit as he throws, and that's picked off. They give it right back. Oh, my goodness. Who was it? Number 21. I don't know who that is. 
That's a non-subscriber player. He might be the one filling in for Travis Moody, the other non-subscriber corner that was injured. Just not a good throw. It didn't help that he was hit. Isaac Price with a great deflection right there. That will be his 14th of his career, first of the season. And it led to a pick. So the Toreros get another chance here to redeem themselves after that interception last drive. And they're going to go with Robbie Ballard up the middle, runs a man over, picks up nine yards, and they're going to get a first down here. The face mask on Chris Major, I believe, and it is Chris Major. Our only player last season to have over 100 tackles on the year. Marcus Pedersen ended with 99 tackles. He was the closest. Chris Major ended with 104 last season with 10 for a loss and one sack. He's got four sacks this season from that strong safety spot. Bobby Ballard up the middle, picks up six or seven more yards. He's got 67 here today. Not bad. That'll give him 260 on the season. Second down and three now. And I like this formation with three running backs. And they're going to give it off to one of them. And he's going to pick up maybe two yards close to the marker. Third down and one upcoming. This is a huge play. Time is running out for the Toreros. They are three of six today on third downs. And there's only 4-10 left here in the ballgame. Goal line set. For Daryl Ballard, the backup halfback is in behind Bo Davis. See if they won't give it to him. And they will give it off to the backup. And he picks up the first down. He almost squeezed through there for a score. But a big time run for the non-subscriber halfback. Gutsy call by Jack Brown. Actually giving it off to the non-subscriber player. And Robbie Ballard is still nowhere to be found. Daryl's going to throw it though. Left side, it's caught. And that's fine, the tight end. And he's got another first down, I believe. No, second down and one. So they give him nine yards for that one. From the 11-yard line, Toreros. Two attempts here today in the red zone. Two touchdowns. Backup is still in there at halfback. Daryl's going to throw it. Left side wide open. Riley Porter. And he hits the pylon. They don't give him the score. What? That is highway robbery right there. That is a touchdown. But they do get a first down first and goal from the goal line. Look at that. That is unreal. He knocks over the pylon with the ball in his right hand. And they don't give him the score, but Ballard's going to find fine for the touchdown anyway. And the tight end wide open, Jamar Hicks. Wow, he almost had the pick on that one. One yard touchdown pass for the San Diego Toreros did what the Seattle Seahawks couldn't. And they are now one point away from tying it. And the extra point. Xavier Wilson on for the hold, freshman quarterback. And that was great, great hold, great kick. This ball game is all tied up, 21 all, folks. With 3.06 left on the clock. That is, of course, plenty of time for the Jackrabbits to get something on the board. Time and time again, we've seen them have very, very quick drives. San Diego has never really been known for very fast drives or huge plays. They do have the occasional big play for a score. But more often than not, they're just having long, sustaining drives that just drain the clock out. Here's Jamar Hicks on the return up the middle. And we'll get to about the 21 yard line. And here comes Lamar Jackson, Davey Redding, Jack Marks, Ryan Hunter Lewandowski, Jacob Coleman, and all these other weapons. This offense is completely stacked. It's ridiculous how many players they have on it. First down and 10. 234 passing yards today. For South Dakota State. And Jackson's going to be sacked. Or no, is that an incomplete pass? They count it as an incomplete pass. I don't know how he got rid of that. But Jackson, he got over 4,000 passing yards for his career with his last completion. So congratulations to him. 
40 touchdowns, 20 picks coming into the game. Just a stud. Second down to 10, Collins in at halfback. Jackson, left side, it's caught. And who was it? That was Chad Collins with another catch here today, his second. That'll give him five on the season. Five of seven on third down conversions today for Jack Rabbits are. Browns North on fire. And they're gonna go play action. Left side, and it's dropped. Oh my goodness. TJ Maxey, the number two tight end. Non-subscriber tight end, drops it. He has been huge for this team though. A great talent, but a drop pass right there is going to result in a punt for South Dakota State. Crowd getting behind their team. They have a chance to win it here late in the ball game. Here is the punt to Demetrius George. Or no, Doug Lay, excuse me, from the 26-yard line. And he's in the open field. Doug Lay tracked down at the 41-yard line. I thought he was gone. 7.8 yard average on the season on punt returns. And they're in great field position now with that return at the 41. It's 2.27 left on the clock. Plenty of time for the Ballard brothers. And Darryl gonna go draw play and Robbie gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe. And they do get him back to the line. So second down and 10 now. Not the best start to that drive. They're going to come out in the eye formation. And they're going to hand it off again. Robbie Ballard picks up two or three yards. Up that guy. They should have thrown it on that play. Second down and 10. I mean, you can't just keep running the football. Robbie hasn't broke a big one at all today. Four of seven on third downs. Daryl on fire. They go play action. Robbie Ballard got absolutely destroyed, and this pass is deflected away at the last second by Jamar Hicks. Man, Frank Theory laid Robbie Ballard right out. Look at that hit. My goodness. And that was Hicks on the cover, so a big stop for South Dakota State's defense. And the dangerous offense gets to hit the field one more time with plenty of time. They scored with less time than this earlier in the second quarter. Picks back to return. And they're going to kick it deep. Oh my goodness, this punter has a leg on him. And it's going to go back through the back of the end zone. Huge punt. First and 10 from the 20 yard line. They gotta go 80 yards for a touchdown or they could just kick a field goal. Walk out of here with a three point victory. Daily Redding on fire. Hot routing the receiver, I don't think they can hear him. This crowd is going crazy. Jackson pressure, throws right side and it is caught. That is Jacob Coleman. The freshman phenom with another catch here today. His second, I believe. Jackson under center now. He's going to toss it. No, nope, play action again. Jackson, deep shot, right sideline, and that is way out of bounds. Not even close to anyone. Jack Marks was the intended target, and he was about 20 yards away from where that ball landed. Jermaine Watson now in at quarterback. Players of the game, Kerr, for San Diego with two touchdown catches. I kept calling him fine. Now, there's a tight end with the last big fine, but I was just completely wrong on that. My bad. I mean, Watson, left side. That pass goes nowhere. Third down and 11. Decisions, decisions. Do you just run this clock out as much as you can and punt the football away? I don't know. You don't want to force a pass and throw a pick six. Four receivers, three to the right, and Jackson is just going to be sacked back at the 27-yard line. Only 53 rushing yards here today for the Jackrabbits offense. My goodness. And that was Boom Johnson on the tackle, or the sack, excuse me. That's going to be his first of the season, sixth of his career. That'll bring up fourth and 16. The Toreros did call a timeout. They want the ball back, and they want to win right now. 
Nobody wants to mess around with overtime. I gotta go make dinner for my kids. I don't got time for overtime. Doug Lay on the return, and he goes nowhere up to the 29-yard line. Nice tackle by Jack Marks, who's been all over the place today. Single back set. Ballard to throw, and he's going to be sacked. And who got him? McCutcheon, now subscriber, needs to tackle with his second sack today. Just blows right by the left guard. Now, uh, big decision here. San Diego did call a timeout, so it looks like they're just going to keep trying to get downfield. And I hope that doesn't come back to bite them. Ballard has been known to throw some picks. 34 on his career. I would just play conservative at this point and go into overtime. Shorter field to score. And that pass is deflected away at the line of scrimmage. Ballard with two picks here today, so he's got 35 for his career with 30 touchdowns. That'll bring up third down at 13. They have taken pretty much no time off the clock here on this drive. Huge play, shotgun set, Ballard to throw, and he throws it out deep, and it's caught! What a play! It is caught! Number 80. The number two tight end, I don't know his name. He might be fine, I don't know. I've lost track of these non-subscriber players. Well, what a play down to the 33-yard line. San Diego almost in field goal range. And Ballard gonna throw again. And he's hit as he throws, almost picked off. Oh my goodness, Goku Lee on the coverage. Lee having a pretty good game here today. Second down and 10 for the Toreros. Now big decisions. Do you try to run it with Ballard? And just get forward a few yards. Get in field goal range. Or do you throw it? And try to get even farther downfield. This pass is picked off. Goku Lee has it down the sideline at the 40. Goku Lee has himself a pick six. Oh my goodness gracious. His first career pick, or second of the game actually. His first career touchdown. The 62 overall, three-star freshman. He doesn't know uh, anything about the overall rating. He doesn't care. He's just out there balling. Oh my goodness, Daryl Ballard with his 36th career pick. And that one might cost his team the ball game. With an extra point, it will be 28 to 21. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. If you're a San Diego fan, or a player, you oh, your heart has to hurt right now. South Dakota State on top, 28-21. What a game, folks. I'm losing my voice. Oh, my goodness. There's still time left, 24 seconds, but San Diego... They've only got one timeout left. It's not looking promising for them right now. And there is the kickoff, and it's not going to be returned. George is just going to kneel this down in the end zone, which took a second off the clock. And the crowd booing their team. You guys got to quiet down. Your offense has to get some work done here. They got to go 80 yards in 23 seconds. Can they do it? Do the Toreros have any more magic left in them? Daryl Ballard to throw over the middle. It's caught, and they're only going to pick up uh, four yards. Time is running out. They're going no huddle. This is such a waste of time. Second and six. Did they get somebody off sides? They did. They got someone to jump. Or someone took too long getting back. And that gets him to the 29-yard line. They get time for maybe a deep pass to get near the 40-yard line maybe of South Dakota State just to attempt a Hail Mary. And then the shotgun set. Two tight ends. Two receivers to the right. Ballard, play action. I don't know why they're still going play action. Ballard over the middle, incomplete. And there's a holding call. Oh my goodness. And 
the Toreros imploding here in the final minute of the ball game. Jack Brown screaming at the ref on the sideline. He's about ready to throw his headset at him. <laughs> I think he should just go to the locker room at this point. Avoid an arrest <laughs> in your home stadium. Second and 11, same formation here for San Diego. Ballard to try to throw again. And the time is running out, and that is dropped on the sideline. Daryl not happy with his brother, Robbie, right there. One second left. They're going to have to just chuck it as far as humanly possible. But the man with the strongest arm in the league is on the sideline for the other team right now. They're down on the live. Final play of the ball game, unless they score. Ballard. To throw off his back foot, right side, and it's a complete overthrow. It was Demetrius George again, and that is it. South Dakota State with an upset victory over the now 2-1 two and one San Diego Toreros. Jack Rabbits improved to 2-2 two and two on the season. They're 2-1 and one all time versus subscriber opponents. San Diego is 1-3 and three versus subscriber opponents. Huge victory for them. Rebounding after just some really poor performances against Buffalo and against, who was it, Navy, where the running back had over 500 rushing yards. Just insane numbers. Let's take a look at the Discord Pick'em. And you guys selected incorrectly. There was more votes for San Diego. And South Dakota State wins. Here are the winners. Jay Balmer, Jarmel Lewis, Wooly Madden, Tyler Chandler, Marvin Joseph, Emmanuel Wise, Alexander Connor, Jacob Coleman, Bryson Shields, and Nick Hall. My goodness, what a game, guys. My throat is killing me right now. 28-21 is the final. <sighs> Three interceptions for Daryl Ballard today. Gives him 36 for his career. And one was the game-winning pick six from three-star freshman Goku Lee. See, so guys, you don't always have to be a five-star or four-star to be great. doesn't even matter that his overall is a 62. He balled out today. Two picks. A touchdown to win it. He had some deflections. He had a bunch of tackles. Have yourself a day, Goku Lee. Man, we, do have, we have a lot of great freshmen in this class. And some of the best ones are three stars. Of course, you know, it, it does matter a little bit if you're a five-star. Um, we, <laughs> we do have some five-star defensive linemen that are just absolute monsters. And you can tell when they're when they're playing. But these three-star weapons at skill positions, at corner, at receiver. You got Jada Streets on Northern Colorado, who's a two-star halfback with a 70 overall, 95 speed. He's really good. They just got to get him the football a little bit more in the open field. And so he can make some people miss, but I'm telling you guys, you don't you don't need to be a five star to be great. Ed Reed was a two star. Look at him, Hall of Fame, baby. One touchdown for Reinhard Urbandowski. I think that was his only catch today. Or he might have had two. I wasn't looking at the stats, so you know, forgive me. Jacob Coleman with a pancake today. Chris Major seven tackles. That's going to give him 20 on the season. Chris Major is a tackling machine. Bunch of tackles for a loss today for the Jackrabbits. They were just dominating up front, which is strange. Because they only have Frank Theory up front, and that's it. Three picks, two for Goku Lee, a 72-yard pick six. And, of course, the game-winning pick six. Gotta love it. I was not expecting the game to end the way that it did. But I'm glad it did that way. It was, it was a really fun game to watch and to commentate on. Goku Lee, Jack Marks, Holland, players of the game for the Jack Rabbits. Kerr, Ballard, and Green, players of the game for San Diego. As they fall to 2-1, they're not going to be ranked now. Their next ball game, they will be hosting the Eastern Washington Eagles to start their Pac-10 play. That'll be week 6, so they get a week 5 bye, but we'll not see them. For the next slate of games. Our next South Dakota State game, they also get a break. They'll be hosting Nichols State, and that starts their Big 12 games for the season. Their non-conference schedule is over, and they escaped with a 2-2 record out of it somehow. 
our next game, Dayton takes on Rice. And I'll see you guys for that one tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. That's a top 10 matchup. I will see you guys there. Take it easy, guys.